Hey guys, it's Claris and welcome back to a new video. Today I have another gel polish kit to review for you guys. This one is by Rosaland. I have not tried any of their products before and they were kind enough to send me over a collection of their colors and I'm super excited to review these for you guys. So let's get right into it. All right, so this is Rosaline's fall collection. They have the classic gold, yellow, orange, brown series. So these are soak off gel polishes and this kit includes 20 of them. And this kit is $32.99 on Amazon. So I just want to mention how when opening this up, it's pretty cool. So they have like this little swirly part and then it kind of opens up like this, which I thought was really cool. I had not seen that before. So here we have, it has the instructions right on here. Then here we do have all of the colors. This does look like a lot, but the bottles are really small. All right, I'm gonna look at these shiny ones over here and see what these are all about. So this says Rosaline's top coat. And then uh, this is a primer. So this system does actually have a primer. It shows on the instructions here. Apply the primer and air dry for 20 seconds. So this is the first time I've seen a gel polish kit include a primer, so that's interesting. You have a matte top coat. And this must be the base coat. Yes, this is the base coat. So it does help that these bottles over here are in a shiny uh, top, so you can tell that they're different than the rest of the colors. All right, so I'm actually going to jump right into swatching these all out. Um, I'm not going to show me painting on each color. That will make the video kind of long, I think. So I'm just going to show really quick a little slideshow of all of the colors this kit includes to give you an idea. So first of all, I noticed that the numbers on the bottom of the gel polishes, some of them were actually the same. So it didn't really seem to matter that much what the number on the bottom was, but it is good that it does have a color on the outside. But anyways, um, we're gonna start out with the solid colors of this collection. We have here a white, pink, we have some blues, we have a kind of a mauve, and then we have a brick red. Then we have a gray and then a dark green. So some great solid colors. Um, these were all opaque in two coats. I was very happy. Next we're onto some neons and sheer colors. This collection did have some pretty bright colors. Definitely in the first coat they felt jelly-like, but in the second and third coat they became more opaque. I thought this uh, light pink at the end was really pretty, this kind of sheer pink. And also the sheer purple I thought was really pretty. I think I might have done three coats on that one just because I wanted to try to make it more opaque but really pretty. So then this collection does have a couple glitters. We have here a gold and then a silver. And then we're just going to finish off with some darker colors. We have this dark blue, kind of has a shimmer to it. And then we have a black, which was opaque in two coats, which was very nice. So here are all the colors. I was not going to do a mani on my actual nails, but I didn't want to do it with gel. I wanted to do something else on them. And then I realized I have my mannequin hands I got from school. So I'm actually going to do a nail light design on that for you guys with some of the colors from this collection. So um, let's get right into that. I'm going to do something kind of St. Patrick's Day theme since it's almost coming up. So um, this collection only has one green, so we'll have to see what we can do. But uh, yeah, let's get right into that. So yes, anyways, I did get this hand from my school. It's not the one I actually got originally. That one is very dirty. I'm not sure you guys want to see that one. But anyways, I got this one really cheap for only $10 from school. And it's just this super cheap mannequin hand. Anyways, I have tips in it. They are size five and I'm just going to use a file and just make sure you get off that little bit of plastic at the tip. All right, so I'm going to do some gold glitter on the pinky. I think gold was a pretty color here. So I'm going to do um, that. And then on the ring finger and the middle nail, I'm going to do solid coats of the green. And I was going to do it also on the pointer nail, but I decided to do the gold again since I was starting to like how the gold and green look together. And then I was trying to think of what to do on the thumb. So I just decided to paint it the bright yellow. I don't really know why. Okay, so I'm then going back and doing second coats to all of those. And then we're going to do a little bit of art. So I'm going to do a four leaf clover on the ring nail. And the way I'm going to do it is first, I'm going to put down some of the silver glitter polish. I'm going to use that color here on my palette. I'm going to use a dotting tool. And I was kind of inspired to do it this way because of the way I learned how to make hearts with the two dots and then you connect them. 
So I kind of put two dots next to each other in a square kind of a thing. You just have to see, it's kind of hard to explain. And then I used a fine detail brush to just um, take some polish and just drag lines in and make it into a clover. I think it was pretty easy to do it this way and I like how it turned out. On the ring nail, I was going to do kind of like a French tip thing, but then I was thinking I'd make it a little bit different. So I had the dotting tool out mine as well. So I just made kind of a dotted French tip with this silver glitter. I kind of like it. Um, then on the thumb, I just decided to use the green to make a French tip. Then once I had cured everything, including the nail art, I applied a top coat and then cured that as well for 30 seconds. All these coats I am curing for 30 seconds. All right, so here is what the finished mani looks like. Super simple St. Patrick's Day themed. All right, so my final thoughts on this collection is I felt like it was kind of cheap. I felt like the polishes were good, but I would have liked it better if the polishes were numbered more. And also I felt like the bottles were all really, really small, but then it comes with 20 different ones. And as you guys saw, there is a big variety in what it has. So I do think it is a nice little kit. There definitely be some colors here I will want to grab a little bit later. So thank you to Rosalind for sending this kit over for me to try out. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and comment below what you think of these gel polishes. Feel free to check out the other videos on my channel and subscribe and hit the bell so you will be notified when I post every Wednesday. So until next time guys, thank you again for hanging out with me and have a magical day.